The first person that we're going to hear from is Arun Gupta, who in fact was one of the pioneering researchers in this area when in 1993, he published a, an important paper on um, the, val the economic value of breastfeeding in India. And at that time, he used the value of the price of formula to make that estimate. But the work that he did was hugely important in highlighting that value for India. So we're now going to ask Arun, who's a formerly a paediatrician and who founded the Breastfeeding Promotion Network of India in 1991. He's going to give us some thoughts on the tool um, and also from his expert perspective. His organisation has played a key role in strengthening national policies in India to promote, protect and support breastfeeding. And in that country, they proudly have very little growth in the sales of breast milk substitutes because of the very strong efforts of BPNI and IPVAN to implement the WHO code. Over to you, Arun. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, can you hear me, Julie? We can hear you well. All right. Thank you, uh, you and Alex and Roger and the team which has come to this, uh, launch this tool. I, I share my heartiest congratulations to you people and making uh, over the last three decades, I think the things we are making a little simpler on the economics calculation front. So now I agree with you that 1993, a little story when John Rode who used to work for UNICEF and now retired and lives in town. Uh, he moved to India from uh, Indonesia and we met and we discussed, you know, how best to uh, move the policy maker. So we, we thought that economics is the language they understand. So that's the reason we did that paper together in 93. And then we uh, did publish it in economics and political weekly, which it, probably reaches out to most of the bureaucrats and, and the policy makers, including politicians. You know, a couple of worse comments we did receive that why the hell you're comparing mothers with cows now? So because we use it, values of the mother milk uh, to be compared to the, what, a, what a animal milk, which is rampantly available in India would cost at that time about 15 rupees per liter is now around 50 rupees per liter. Arun, we are not hearing you properly because you're um, you suddenly covered the microphone, I think. Okay, can you hear me now? I'm trying to because we, yes, we can hear you very well. Please continue. All right. So that was the time when uh, we, we used some assumptions to calculate it in terms of uh, what percentage of women are exclusively breastfeeding. So we did zero to six months based on the percentage of exclusively breastfed women. And then from six to 12 months based on the uh, breastfeeding data per se, any breastfeeding between six to 12 months and, and up to 24 months uh, based on an Indian study, how much production is there. So I will not get into the details of that, but we did try in 1998, a detailed paper once again in the National Medical Journal of India uh, with another colleague of mine, almost on a similar approach, but it was more expanded to the benefits and the, the, the things which we don't count actually. And the, the health benefits, the, the loss in terms of diarrhea or pneumonia or other illness the children face and they go to hospitals. So all those, costs, we try to, you know, uh, add on to uh, add the value of the breast milk. Uh, certainly, it added value to our advocacy, no doubt about that. And uh, we certainly help uh, the lip service to improve a lot. And slowly, when we started WBTI linked to it, and then we started getting more policy and program inputs. But somehow or the other, it's like after 2005 or six, India has not moved much uh, ahead except the maternity leave for formal sector women increased from uh, three months to six months. So which does it definitely cost, we haven't done the economics later uh, after that, but 
there are areas like unorganized sector women who do go out to work for economic reasons and the government does pay a pittance to them for for the compensation uh, at the same time a formal government employee gets 6 months leave and and the poor woman gets about 5000 rupees which is not even 100 dollars for 6 months so th these are the challenges which we are facing but having this tool i would uh, like to not uh, take much of your time in terms of so, so many people have to speak uh, this tool actually is makes things a little more simpler than what the way we calculated at the time and uh, you have got the database with you and you also allow the countries to use their data if they want to change so that probably can be used to revive the advocacy efforts towards funding part particularly in the national health accounts we have tried couple of times last uh, uh, when we did the 2018 uh, report of wbti which was the fifth report but somehow a very little investment has been made in the area of support as well as promotion both in the hospitals as well as in the maternity sector we had a very strong law which we got in 92 and 2003 we didn't need much money for that but somehow we are now lacking money to implement the law in that sense so uh, this tool in general putting the uh, value of breastfeeding up front and the policy makers may not be very uh, they may not be impressed with the just a 14% loss because they have not been valuing um, uh, women's time in any case so far but i i, I think by writing a piece in the paper uh, during world breastfeeding week or something i think uh, doing a recalculation and putting up a economic sheet again in the in the country uh, para with media as well as other policy makers might make sense again to revive this area of using the value of value of breast feeding or breast milk uh, in economic terms certainly india has a national health account so we will do uh, more uh, in terms of uh, going beyond the lip service so thank you once again this has been uh, a tremendous development in my opinion and we hope to make use of it i'll share across other parts of the friends in it fun uh, if people can try and and make use of this that will be so useful thank you julie for inviting me and, and thank you all the team thank you so much arun is another person who's been very important in my progress in this area over the last many years and together he and alex developed the the wbti costing tool which we've been using in australia to put in budget submissions to demand the funding for things